Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kylie and today is Monday the 6th and it is day 6 of Camp NaNoWriMo. Stop chasing all the city lights Breathe me in, go on and take your bite Count on me to make you come alive I'm not gonna lie, this whole being in self-isolation and quarantine it's not really that different from what we do on a daily basis. We work majority from home. So yeah, our lives really haven't changed, me, me and my husband's. The only difference is we're not going to the studios that we usually work for or going out on calls from our agencies for auditions, that sort of thing. And, you know, companies right now, minus a few, aren't really auditioning voiceover work at all. So, or even in person. Um, so we're pretty much you know, at home, doing what we normally do. But I think it's just the fact of when you tell somebody, it's like in school when you love to write. Me, I, I love to write. I could write story after story after story um, about anything. However, teacher gives you a specific topic and says this is due by this such and such a date. And immediately, it's so hard to write. It's like you had all these great ideas of what you could write, but because you've been kind of put in this hole of you have to do this now, um, it gets harder to do. And I think with everybody being told you have to stay inside, only go out once a week, if at all, um, to get essentials, I think that's kind of the same thing where people are like me, who's a natural intro. I like people, so I'm like an introvert extrovert. So I like to go out and I like to have fun with my friends, but I have a cap. And then usually if I go out really hard for a weekend, not drinking obviously, but like hanging out, game nights, we do a lot of game nights, a lot of uh, dinners together, like family type dinners together and game nights um, and just going out and having fun at different places. Uh, I need like a week or two <laughs> to cool off after that because it's like, okay, I've met my quota cap of people that I can handle for the month and now I need to be a little hermit. So I think people that are like me, who are more introverted, aren't having as much trouble with staying inside. However, the toll it takes on the writing mind is incredible. And it's interesting. I mean, I'm seeing author friends of mine on Facebook saying that, you know, they're tapped they're tapped creatively and I totally get that because the majority of them have kids and they're homeschooling and they have you know a million other things that they're doing for me it's been kind of nice to not have to go to the studio even though I miss my characters I can't wait to get back in the studio and start recording on a couple of season two stuff but um it's been a really nice break so that I get to focus on me and my writing and one of the hardest things that I'm finding is shutting off. Um, and I can be creative when I wanna be creative, but shutting off and shutting down is becoming harder and harder because even I would go out to Starbucks or to Barnes and Noble and do a couple of writing days out there or get a coffee and come back and just feel special because I had a coffee, you know? There's just something about going out and writing around books, getting a coffee or a tea, and just sitting down, surrounded by them, and just writing. Um, so I am in my office where I am surrounded by my own books, but there's something about the ambiance of a bookstore that I really, really miss. And I think when we come out of this, people are going to be flooding to bookstores to you know, get their hands on something tangible, something that they can feel, something that they can connect with. Because as much as I love my e-reader, there's just something about connecting with a book. And as a writer, you know, you, you kind of have to get creative with your writing space. So sometimes I switch up my writing space. Sometimes I move things around. Sometimes I organize, reorganize things. 
just so that it's fresh for me coming in because it all is a, it's a mental game. I change up my music depending on my mood. I listen to a lot of ambient music with, and my, I love the rain. We've gotten a lot of rain here in Texas recently, but I love rain and thunderstorm sounds. And I also love sounds of water in general. I'll put on like river sounds and loon sounds because that's where I grew up on the water. And usually by this time I have a ticket booked home for June or July and I'm unable to do that right now. So it's probably going to be September before I can even go home if I go at all this year. And that's rough because when you're from a place like I am where the river is a part of your identity, is a part of who you are, it like flows through your veins like your blood because you're just, you were born and raised on water and you have to be near that to feel refreshed. It's kind of like my yearly, I get two times a year, I get twice a year um, refreshment from going to the river and just being home and seeing family and just doing nothing and drinking wine and being on the water. And it's really sad that I might not be able to get to do that this year because I have my nephew up there and I have my niece in Illinois that we're not able to go see right now. I'm definitely not able to go see my nephew and my parents and my sister in New York. So it's homesickness is getting there. Um, so I found myself starting to go back to my contemporary romance um, book that I series that I have, which is based on the river. Um, and luckily, people on the group I'm in from the river. Uh, keep posting up pictures of the sunset, sunrises, time out on the water um, to keep those of us who can't come and travel right now um, to get our fill of the river. So that's where I am mentally right now. I am, I am better than most. I am able to write. I'm able to create. I just actually shot B-roll for a new series on my other channel, Avarice Rose where I will be diving into the history of castles, but specifically haunted castles of England, and then hopefully moving on to Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, and Ireland, and then Europe. Um, so a little bit of a spooktacular fest on the other channel, Avarice Rose, I'll link down below, and at the end of this, there'll be a card linking to the trailer for that series. Because I have more time, um, and granted, when you're not getting sleep and you're not sleeping well, I mean, I don't know. If anybody has any any ideas about how to sleep and how to get good sleep, please put them down below because, I mean, nothing's working right now. And it's like my brain won't shut off. I'm always thinking about the next thing or the next project or what I'm going to do tomorrow. And I make lists before I go to bed and I plan my week so I don't really have to worry about it. However, my brain is still like, go, 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 go. I don't know if it's just because of the little bit of background anxiety about where we are right now in the world or whatnot, but who knows? So I'm going to go ahead and pick my music. We're going to do a writing sprint and see if we can get into this. I am going to hit over 15,000 words today, which is great because that means I get to pull another sticky tab down into the finished section of my Kanban board and move 20,000 down. So let's get writing. <laughs> And I'm done for the day. I did 3,150 words. This book is writing itself. Um, and thank God that it is because I'm a little bit all over the place right now. So yeah, I just input everything into Nano's website and I'm gonna go 
get ready to video my first episode of my new series, which I will link the trailer at the end of this vlog for you guys to see. I hope you guys are finding your inspiration in a variety of different ways and that you're not going too stir crazy. So I will see you on day seven, which is tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is day seven of Camp NaNoWriMo and I have completed my war sprints for the day. I wrote 3,150 words and I am now sitting at a total of about 26,500 something words. Um, so Camp Dano says I should be done by April 17th, which most likely will not happen, <laughs> but I am very pleased with how this is going. This book is essentially writing itself, which is something I haven't had happen in a really long time. Not since Legend series book one set in stone have I really had a book just take off on its own. And there are a lot of intricate details in this book that are just showing themselves to me and allowing them to be written in a way that's cohesive and understandable and each chapter is building on the next. No scene so far out of the 13 chapters is really what I would call the throwaway chapter. So you always want all of your scenes to mean something or to have some sort of gravity in your story. And sometimes you'll get scenes that they're fun to write, but they're not fulfilling the plot or not driving the story forward, which is what you always want to have. I'm not really having that problem. So um, I'm hoping that the months that I've spent really thinking about how I want to write this book, writing it over and over in my head multiple times, as well as um, outlining it really extensively so that I know where I need to go and how to play between the lines is really, really helping. Um, now, just because I'm being super productive doesn't mean that I'm an example for how productive everybody else should be right now. Um, depending on what your situation is in the world currently, whether you're staying at home, homeschooling your kids now that schools are out, don't use, um, don't use others' productivity to fuel yours. Let it inspire you, but if you're so tired at the end of the day from homeschooling your kids and doing everything like that, don't feel like you have to keep up with the Joneses, so to speak. Um, because we're all at different places right now. And I'm happy that Camp NaNoWriMo is around so that I have something to focus on and to get me back into the writing groove, but it's different for everybody. So I will see you guys tomorrow on day eight. So it's April 10th and I haven't recorded any of my writing um, sprints because yesterday they didn't happen. I had a zero word day which I'm totally fine with. And today I got 3,540 words. So 3,540 words. And I'm still on target, according to Cam Nano's website, to be done by like around the 20th or something like that. I think it's the 18th, but with me taking Sundays off, it'll probably be closer to the 20th. Um, I haven't really... I don't know. I haven't really felt the need the last two days to vlog. A, because I've been super busy with other projects. I have been making masks for a few of my friends um, in different states to send to them because I do sew. I have my brother sewing machine right here. Um, so I have been sewing masks. I have a, a pile of stuff right there obviously on top of my printer so I have been making masks which is fun and awesome and super therapeutic for me because I used to sew all the time and I haven't in a few years so this is a really good way to get back into it kind of easing you into it and you know I get to help some people um another thing is that I have not been feeling 100% and it's nothing like cold sinus related at all. It's I have not been able to get good sleep and sleep is extremely important for your health 
and I just have not been getting it. Last night I was actually able to fall asleep and for the majority of the night stay asleep. Um, even though I did wake up a couple of times throughout the night and look at the clock and it was definitely a lot earlier than I thought it was, which kind of teed me off because I'm like, oh my gosh, can I just sleep through to the night? And yeah, so the reason on the night I didn't get any words was because I just made I made six masks to send out today. They're all sent out and um, I really didn't want to be bothered with having to worry about anything else. I did some recording for an audiobook. I have some recording to do after this, um, a couple more chapters of an audiobook and then it's done. But I just had to listen to myself and today I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. Um, I don't know if it's because we've been eating and drinking a lot of heavier stuff like I'm drinking a lot of coffee, drinking a lot of beer <laughs> because I mean we just relax at the end of the day and I play Elder Scrolls online and he plays Call of Duty so we're just chilling with beer not a lot like one or two um but pot roast that he made is oh my gosh it's so good but I have a really sensitive stomach when it comes to reflux and stuff like that so I have a pain in my stomach for the last couple of days so I'm wondering if I'm upset it again so I am not 100% today but I have been extremely productive and I guess with the, everything that's happening right now productivity is one of those things that people are kind of like productivity 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 you need to be product productive now now that you have time and it's like if you don't want to be productive please don't feel like you need to be productive I was productive in other ways yesterday, not in the way that I had planned or hoped or wanted to, but my sleep schedule, when I only got three hours of sleep and was up the majority of the night and only slept from like eight to 10 o'clock in the morning, it was a little messed up. And don't feel like you have to keep up, like I said earlier with the Joneses, um, everybody works at their own pace, everybody has different situations they're going through right now. And honestly, one of my biggest things is making sure that I take out time in the day and try to remember that um, I am doing a lot. We're still blessed enough to be able to work from home with the audiobooks and make money, which we are so grateful for. And we know that, you know, we're taken care of, that sort of thing. Um, so I look at me being able to write and be productive and have a quote unquote win in that Camp Nano this year as as, as a win. Um, but also that I haven't written since November, since last Camp Nano. I did finish a book. I finished Claymore 1 and I have been dabbling in one of my contemporary series. But other than that, I have just been plotting my butt off multiple stories and for multiple series. So I haven't really gotten the chance to write. This is my first month of this year that I have allowed myself to let loose and write. Um, so it's been really, really nice because I have been, I haven't really been held back from writing this book, but I have needed other things to happen prior to writing this book. Um, and one of those things was finishing Claymore number one and figuring out where everything fit in that. And now that that is done, for the most part, um, I can, I could, I felt like I could move on. So that's why Claymore two is, you know, I've moved on. And honestly, I'm so excited about how Claymore two is going. I am actually trying to actively plot Claymore three in the background. Um, so that whenever I come around to writing that one it's kind of the same situation of you know if I wait till July to write that one and use that as inspiration and hold off and hold off and really really get that those juices flowing and those ideas going then I can really you know focus in and have another good camp nano um not that it's going to happen all the time because everybody's different and every situation's different and I know that my situations could change um but yeah that is where I am right now. That is why there are no cuts to me writing because I just was like, you know what? I don't feel like it. And it's okay if you're an author tuber not to feel like you have to document every single hour of your day or what you do in a day or if you need time off. I know right now that 
as content creators, we feel the need to entertain people. We feel the need to, like this would be a really good time to jump on and make content because people are bored and people are watching YouTube and that sort of thing. But at the same time, we're human and we shouldn't just make content for the sake of making content. And it's just me speaking in general. This isn't like bashing on anyone at all. I mean, I've watched some author YouTubers and I'm like, man, I wish I could make the content they make because of the time and effort that they use, you know, doing different angles, different hours of the day, showing themselves, you know, waking up, all that stuff, the whole making, I love the making the coffee, mon, mon, uh, what are they called? Montages. I love the coffee montages. Those are some of my favorites in <laughs> videos that I watch, but I, I just, I just feel like right now for this week, I just can't do it. Um, so if you're in the same boat that I am, you're not alone. So I'm going to get off here, go record the last four chapters of this book so I can wrap it and probably go sit down because it is 4.11, hopefully it'll be wrapped by 5 and I can go sit because I'm a little woozy, like a little bit nauseous, a little bit lightheaded. So I will see you guys next week and I will also be posting on my other channel my first Haunted Castle series. I will link in at the end of this video. I will definitely be putting my um, other uh, YouTube to there. So, one love you guys.